Hello guys, welcome back to SM1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily SM1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the lapping zone in B. So in this lecture, I will show you that where we can overlap our steel bars. So with the help of this example, I can clearly explain the lapping zone in the beam. This is a beam, horizontal member is a beam. This is a beam and it is being supported by two vertical supports. These are called as the columns. These vertical members are known as the columns. And I have to show you that where we can overlap our steel bars in the beam. Basically, the overlapping of the steel bar or the lapping zone in beam depends upon the bending moment diagram. So, where we have maximum bending moment, then we should avoid the, avoid the overlapping of the steel bars. For example, let's consider this, the, this is the same beam and column diagram, but I want to draw it with the help of the line diagram. This is the same beam and these are the two columns and let's suppose this beam has been loaded with a uniformly distributed load. So when the load acts on this beam, so normally it will deflect and show the bending moment like in this way. So due to this load, it will show the positive bending moment here in the mid span of the beam. And here it will show the negative bending moment at the two supports. While at the mid span it will show the pass through bending moment. So depending on the bending moment diagram we should avoid the lapping in the beam. And also let's consider this is the cross section of the beam. And for the pass through bending moment we provide the reinforcement at the bottom of the beam. While for the negative bending moment, we have a separate section for this support. This section is for the support where we provide the top reinforcement for the negative bending moment. So what should be the lapping zone for the beam if we have positive and negative bending moment in the beam? So for the positive bending moment, the critical section is the mid span. Because the maximum bending moment you see here is at the mid span of the beam. If this is the cross section of the beam, so this will be the AA here. So we have maximum bending moment at the mid span, so we provide the reinforcement at the mid portion. So due to the maximum bending moment at the mid span of the beam for the positive bending moment, we should not overlap our steel bars in the mid portion. So if there is a steel bar, so it should go through like in this way. But it should not be overlapped here and in this portion. Why? Because here is maximum bending moment and due to maximum bending moment we should not overlap because it will decrease the strength of the beam section. So in the mid case we are not allowed to overlap. So where we have to overlap our beam for the bottom reinforcement only at the support sections. So the overlapping of the beam is allowed at the support section here we can overlap. So now this is the region or the zone when we, where we can overlap our steel bar. Similarly here, the steel bar can be overlapped here in this way. So what should be the distance? This distance that we can overlap our steel bar. So this distance should be equal to the L by 8. If this is the length L, so it should be L by 8 and also this should also be equal to L by 8. So L by 8 distance we are allowed to overlap our steel bars. Similarly, if this is the length L of the beam, so we can overlap our steel bar at the right support up to the L by 8 and also here up to L by 8. Because after this there will be the maximum bending moment you see here. This is section after this and also here after this this section is a maximum positive bending moment where we are not allowed to overlap our steel bar because it will decrease the strength of the beam section. Similarly, we will also explain for the top section. But let's suppose we have a length of 10 meter beam. So this distance up to which we are allowed to overlap from the support column 
if this length is 10 meter beam so L by 8 will become out to be 1.25 meter so up to 2.5 meter from this support we can overlap similarly L by 8 so 1.25 meter here we can overlap our steel bar this distance will be also 1.25 this distance will be also 1.25 meter so if the if the two respect to support distance of 1.25 meter we are allowed to overlap our steel bar because there is no maximum bending moment pass to bending moment here and also here there is no pass to bending moment so we are allowed to overlap our steel bar now what should be the overlapping condition for the negative bending moment it is opposite to that of the positive bending moment because in the negative bending moment we see here it is maximum at the support section where this let's suppose this is the section BB this is also section BB so here BB in case of the BB we provide the top reinforcement because now the top section is in tension so due to the maximum negative bending moment at the top section in the support we should not provide the overlapping at the support here for the negative bending moment so the bar should come here like in this way but we should not overlap here at the support similarly the bar should also be come here from this side but we should not overlap at the negative top section because the negative bending moment is maximum at the top that's why we should not overlap but we are allowed to overlap at the mid section because you see here at the mid section we have only positive bending moment there is no bending moment at the there is no negative bending moment at the mid span of the beam so that's why we are allowed to use the overlapping of the steel bars at the mid section for the negative case for the top portion of the beam and this in this length is divided in three portion l by three this should also be l by three and this should also be l by three so if this is the length l of beam so at the distance of l by three at the mid section of the beam we can only overlap our top reinforcement while at l by three we are not allowed to overlap our steel bar here also of distance of l by three we are not allowed to overlap our steel bar but only distance of length of L by 3 at the mid span of the beam we are allowed to overlap of steel bars of the top steel bar and if this is a 10 meter so it means distance of L 10 by 3 it comes out to be 3.33 so the only at a distance of 3.3 meter at the mid span we are allowed to overlap our steel bars hope you guys understand that how to overlap and where, where to overlap our steel bar in the beam there are this depends strongly on the bending moment diagram because in the maximum bending moment you cannot overlap the steel bar hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily engineering videos thank you for watching our video